Sometimes life does not wait for us to change. Sometimes life is waiting for us to change, waiting for us to grow, waiting for us to really encompass a newfound relationship within ourselves. So sometimes life will not wait on you to progress into the initiation that you want to become. Sometimes life will present many different representations and reflections and connections and emotions and tribulations and challenges that will inherently make you change. So sometimes don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of how it happens. Don't be afraid of even why it happens, but just embrace it and just enjoy the ride and just enjoy it the best that you can. Sometimes we're not always going to enjoy things and sometimes we're not always going to love everything that happens to us. But sometimes because of the very fact that it is happening, it could be a blessing in disguise. And sometimes it could be the very thing that pushes you into who you're supposed to be. And sometimes we can feel as if the world's against us, which is not a real thing. And sometimes we can feel like people are against us and that's not a real thing either. But sometimes it's being for what you want to represent and what you want to stand for and what you want to be a part of. So if you don't want judgment in your life, if you don't want ridicule in your life, if you don't want unnecessary things happening in your life, then don't attract that to yourself and also don't promote that. You know, don't tolerate it. Don't resonate within that energy. And sometimes the greatest eye-opening experience can be the very fact that we just do it just change, just ask that person out or get that new job, or could be just wanting to help people with your gift. And it doesn't matter what it is. I think sometimes we overcomplicate things because we feel like we have to make it depth and complex and extravagant. And sometimes being simplistic can be the very thing that helps you become who you're supposed to be. You know, sometimes just being plain Jane, it can be the best thing. So I love you guys. And I hope everybody who's ever received one of my videos has been blessed by it, has been, you know, touched by it in some way. And that's really all of what I've ever done. Rather, it was doing any of my videos, any type of video is really just you being blessed by it and having heart authenticity and beauty you know wanting to be that example of that truth and i think you know when you've been gifted a new life like i have and has everything always been perfect no but it was so much better than what i was experiencing it was so much better than what i was doing or being unfulfilled or working a job that i hated um or you know, not being treated with respect and not really having much assistance upon that and realizing that the divine always gives and source always delivers. Um, not always when you want them to, but no matter how you look at source, source always forgives, source always loves, and source will allow you to live within your own celestial hall will allow you to live within your own being and will allow you to exist in the way that you're supposed to exist. And I think that is the grand lesson of who we all are, is really children of the Most High. And knowing that the bloodline is strong and that your DNA can be changed and that you can escape horrendous things, trauma, family dynamics, or if whatever you're going through right now, just know that it can change if you really want it. And that everything can change in your life if you just ask. Sometimes it's looking for it. Sometimes it's seeking it out. Sometimes it's growing within that. And um, sometimes it's not always pretty, but it always gives us the utmost grace and wisdom and love and power feel empowered to live a different existence. You know, be yourself. Do what inspires you. Do what lifts you up. Do the things that make you feel amazing. And do the things and have friendships and relationships that actually matter. 
um, we are a soul and we're not possessed by anything, owned by anything, or have to be indoctrinated by anything. And I think that's the greatest lesson I've ever learned, not only within myself, but just with everything that I went through, um, to be the person that I am today. And I'm not ashamed of that. And I don't think any of you should be ashamed of that either. Be yourself and know that we're not condemned or judged. But every day is a sense of redemption. Every day is a sense of upliftment and connection to who we are. And it gives us the gift of life. And sometimes the gift of life doesn't feel like the gift of life, but it is. So I, I love you guys. And I wanted to make this video real quick.